So let's say you want to build your outdoor kitchen and you're thinking, how should I do my countertop? Um, you know, should I put stone, should I make it out of wood or whatever? And I want to give you a solution, a practical and extremely strong solution for you to do your countertop out of concrete. So um, we have the concrete already. We are pouring the concrete, but I want to go over what we did over here. If you notice, this is the support. We're going to go a full 36 inches to the top. We are making a three and a half inches thick counter in this case. And also we are putting rebar, half inch rebar, to make sure this platform obviously is screwed from underneath, not from the top. And is designed for, for the you know, support of the concrete. Later on, we're gonna take it out, obviously. This is a cutout that we have for a cast iron sink that we have. So the cast iron sink is gonna come here and here's some space for um, some cabinetry over here they, they actually pull out uh, trash cans are here then we are going to have a, a regular stove a propane stove and we're going to have more space for for you know a storage over here and then we're going to have our sliding uh, uh, sink, i mean uh, grill that grill that we have here 32 inches so it's going to go inside here which is important too and here we're going to have one of those a Kamado eggs, this one that is here. We already measured it and everything, so we know exactly this cutout. You have a lot of possibilities, but one of the ones I haven't seen is this one. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna carefully mount it and drop it in. Obviously, it's gonna have a it's gonna have a, a support over there. The same thing. So we're gonna do a second counter in the bottom to support the egg properly and to support that sink. I mean the sink, the grill properly. Here's more storage. It's gonna be actually one of the refrigerators here the refreshment and beer refrigerator here and another refrigerator at the back so you're gonna see you're gonna notice that we have a lot of boxes on the top and on the bottom for the switches for the controls and all these things because they, they're gonna need a lot of power you're gonna see a lot of power over here power over there and we're gonna have an outdoor um power box over here right so we have the outdoor wiring ready there and we have all this we obviously the, the proper amount of um wiring and the special wire for outdoor facilities so you see now you, you can actually see one of the solutions that you have for your counter remember um one we'll say bucket of cement portland cement two buckets of sand three buckets of the gravel the aggregate so that's that's what we're working with and i hope this video can give you an idea later on i'm going to polish it follow other videos that i'm going to make about the, the topic so this one doesn't stretch too long it's not so long but um this one is actually fascinated with with wiring the wire that is sold for this type the type of tie that you will do on this this is the type of rebar that we use obviously nothing is going to go here because this is the cutout for the different things right so the camera again i'm happy to do all these things and I'm glad that I can show you this. And this is my channel about teaching you a lot of other things, you know, showing you other possibilities. You know, there's always wood and stones and other things that you can put on. This one is one of them. This is strong, permanent, easy to polish, easy to finish. And I want you to see the outcome later on in another video. All right, so have a good one. Remember to subscribe, hit that little notification bell, share, uh, comment, because that's important to comment and. If you have other ideas, please let us know how you do your counters. All right, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.